No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey, I'm Ryan with No Film School, and we're here with John from Kipper Tie, which is a new OLPF for red cameras, which gets you a different look. Uh, John, where did the idea for this come from, and, and what are the advantages to your, actually I should say, what an OLPF is? Uh, it's the optical low-pass filter that goes in front of the sensor, but behind the lens. I think I'm getting that right. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Kipper Tie. Okay, so um, as a company, we, we do production, we do rentals, um, and I've always been a little bit of a mad scientist, I guess. I make a lot of stuff. Um, the idea to create OLPFs for the RED cameras actually came from uh, some customers of ours who wanted to shoot infrared. They were doing wildlife and natural history production, and they wanted to use infrared lights to actually illuminate things in the dark so that they could film covertly. Um, so we actually, you know, one of the first things we put together was um, what we call a full spectrum OLPF. Basically it's a, um, a piece of glass that rather than filtering out the unwanted light that the sensor would be sensitive to but we don't want to see, it lets everything in. So it meant that we can actually see infrared light in the camera. So then, um, having figured out that we could do that, um, we then developed a range of LPFs which work in the way that we expect them to as far as colour is concerned. So we work really hard to make sure that we get the very best colour reproduction, we don't have IR contamination, you know, we, we get really good colour that we're super happy with, but we've then embedded into the glass the same kind of diffusion process that you would otherwise have in a filter that you put in a matte box in front of the lens. Now the really cool thing is when you put the diffusion filter behind the lens rather than in front, it becomes, uh, the, the diffusion effect becomes independent of the focal length that you're shooting with. Mm -hmm. So we've actually ended up pricing these not far north of what you'd spend on a regular drop-in filter anyway. Um, but in actual fact, it, it represents quite a big saving uh, because you really only need to use one for any given look. And you, can, and you can change lenses, change focal length without any trouble. I guess the, the most important thing to say is, um, the kind of looks that you can create with these filters, they're not things that you can replicate in post. Okay, So we're, what we're doing is we're showing the sensor a pattern of light that wouldn't exist any other way. So it has an effect on the bokeh, it has an effect on the texture of the image, and it has an effect in terms of how diffusion and halation and contrast work in the image. So to replicate it in post is literally impossible. There's no way of doing it. We can create post effects of this type, but it's really not the same thing. If we want to do that, you, know, you can choose different ways of diffusing the light. So we have, a, uh, at the moment, three different products. Uh, we have a carbon, a pearl, and a gold, as we're referring to them. Now, they're broadly comparable to some things that exist out there, but I'd encourage people to take a look on our website at kipatai.com. There are examples there, so you can, you can kind of do an A-B and see what you think. Every type of diffusion works in a very similar way, really. It's more about figuring out do you want to um, create something where there's a halo around a light source, or do you want to create an effect where you're smoothing skin? Um, we have, for example, with the gold filter, it applies a different amount of effect according to the wavelength of the light. So it specifically softens the warm tones and leaves the cooler stuff alone, which is great. You know, it means that we have nice soft skin and you know a, a kind of a golden glow around highlights, but then the shadows and the, the crisp textures that we want to keep, say, in fabric or hair, that gets left alone. In terms of getting a hold of these, we want to make sure that they're affordable so people can buy them. Um, you know, you can afford to say, you know, for this one project, hey, I'll, I'll try one filter. But broadly speaking, we're around about $500 for the, uh, uh, the false color stuff, as we call it. So that's the, the infrared or the full spectrum. Um, and then we're pretty much on parity with Red's pricing for their specialty filters. So they come in around 695 for, a, uh, for example, for the H2O filter. We come in just around there, maybe a little below. And then there are discounts for packages if you're buying multiples as well. And you know the, the, the nice cases that we produce, all the packaging, that's available separately as well. Yeah. And what is the uh, Kipper Tie website? So it's uh, very simple, it's www.kippertie.com and yeah, you'll find examples, you can buy direct from the site as well if, you, uh, if you're in a, a place that's not served by any of the dealers at this point. Um, yeah. Thanks John. No problem, thanks.